Hey there YouTube, my name is Kristen Marie. I'm a licensed esthetician, an educator, mentor, a YouTuber, and a mom. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode and I'm just so excited and juiced because it's been so long, I didn't even realize it, since I've done a skincare review video. Now before we dive into that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're an esthetician or you love skincare that is all welcome here. I also do facial videos, give tips for entrepreneurship, all of that is covered here on this channel. And if you have a specific topic that you hope that I can cover, please make sure you comment down below so that I can make content that really speaks to you. Today we are switching it up a bit because I'm going to be doing my very first drugstore skincare review for the brand La Roche-Posay. So first and foremost, thank you so much La Roche-Posay for gifting me these wonderful products. I have this ginormous box back here full of products that I have for the last several days been just living and breathing La Roche-Posay. I've been using their products personally, looking at their website, watching YouTube videos, reading articles, doing my own research. I want to share with you a bit about the company, the science that goes behind these products, my most favorite products along with my least favorite products. This is based off of just the usage of the products that were gifted to me and I also purchased a few of my own. Of course, you know, take what I say with a grain of salt. Make sure that you check out their website and look at all the other products that they offer because there's lots. Also at the end of the video I will be giving my overall thoughts and final review of La Roche Posay. And to top it off, I'm going to be doing a little giveaway in this video. I'm going to be giving away one of their moisturizers. This is the Double Repair Face Moisturizer and I'm going to be gifting that to somebody. Be sure to watch to the very end of the video so you know how to enter for the giveaway. And without further ado, let's get started. Thank you so much for continuing to watch. I am going to be looking at my notes here, pulling out products and showing you guys close-ups of the textures of the products that I was using. This is my very first drugstore brand that I'm reviewing. So if there's certain elements of brand reviews that you enjoy that I may not that I may not have covered in the past or in this video, go ahead and comment below. Let me know what exactly about products or a brand that you enjoy learning about and so that I can continue to modify my videos to educate you guys and to give you what it is that you're looking for. for those of you who are estheticians watching, you're probably wondering, why are you reviewing a drugstore brand? I thought, you know, you were all about the pro stuff. And yes, I want to make a huge disclaimer that as a licensed esthetician who offers professional grade and medical grade products, I'm always going to recommend to my clients and to people that I speak with to use professional medical grade. Now you guys might be wondering, if you if you never heard of those terms before, I believe that products kind of fall into certain tiers. So there's drugstore, retail, professional, and medical grade, and it kind of goes up that way as far as like what I would believe is quality. La Roche-Posay does technically fall within that drugstore level. So with that in mind, make sure you know that uh, in my personal opinion, I think I'm going to continue to recommend to my clients my professional medical grade products. The reason why I am dabbling into a drugstore brand is because I know a lot of you guys use drugstore brand products. It's more affordable, it's more accessible. As I do believe whenever I have a client coming in and they are using a drugstore retail level product, I feel like they enjoy and trust me more when I'm educated about these products and I want to know more about it and I want to be able to direct them on how to use it and, and if it's safe and quality and, and to educate them. I never like to product shame. That is the reason why I think it is beneficial for me to start to dive into these other brands that are just so popular and well known that I think I could add in my own input and try them out myself and put them on my skin before you put it on your skin and just give you my honest opinion. Not, none of this is a paid sponsorship. La Roche-Posay did gift these to me. They're not gonna pay me to talk about the brand. So I'm gonna give you my real and raw honest opinion. Without further ado, let's talk more about La Roche-Posay. La Roche-Posay. So again, La Roche-Posay is a drugstore brand. But what I like to say is it's bougie on a budget, okay? Because 
After doing research about the brand and the science that goes behind it and the clinical studies, um, I do believe that they are probably at the top tier of drugstore products. Most of you watching this have already heard about this brand. The actual brand itself was started in 1994-1995 according to the articles that I've read. It actually stems back even further than that, back into the 19th century when a French nobleman stumbled across a thermal spring. The reason why I'm bringing up the thermal spring water is because this is actually a key ingredient that is used in every single one of La Roche-Posay's products. There's half people that say, well, it's just water, and half the other half say, oh, well, it does miracles. I do believe, actually, that it has benefits. So this thermal spring water has been known to have healing properties. It is rich in selenium, which selenium protects against the oxidative, oxidative stress when it comes to aging, and also it provides protection against free radical damage. It is naturally formulated. It, it's a water that runs across limestone and different minerals and rocks, and it picks up all these wonderful benefits and soothing minerals for the skin. When this French nobleman discovered this thermal spring, Apparently, according to myth, um, his horse, who had eczema, bathed itself in the water and it was cured. Now, it seems like a pretty wild um, claim, but I did find a couple different articles on the National Institute of Health website that actually showed that there was an improvement in the skin just purely based off of that thermal spring water. There is clinical studies behind this ingredient in particular. So now, fast forward to now, they have a thermal spring water facility back in the day where they used to send soldiers and people from all over the world would come to these centers and receive healing from this thermal water. Now today, they actually still have a a center that you can visit. It is located in the city, La roche Posay. that's how they came up with the name because this is where this thermal spring is. And this city is super, super small. It's in France and you know, you, you really wouldn't look twice at it if you didn't know about this. So now La roche Posay is actually owned and was acquired by L'Oreal, which you guys know that name as well. It's a huge, huge company that uh, provides beauty and skincare products uh, worldwide. And that is probably why they are kind of technically a drugstore brand or distributed as widely as they are because they were acquired by L'Oreal. The company has been awarded several, several awards. They have done over 600 clinical studies on their products and dermatologists all over recommend these products. I have stumbled across a handful of YouTube channels of dermatologists speaking about these products. If you want an even more dive, deep dive into ingredients and how they recommend these products, I definitely recommend you furthering your research other than this video. But. I'm going to be giving you my expertise as best as I can and my personal experience using these products. Another thing that they have been integrating in the last 10 years is formulations for balancing the microbiome. Several other brands are now starting to incorporate this into their product, but you do have a natural presence of bacteria on your skin. Just like the bacteria in your body and in your stomach, your skin is gonna be a lot happier. <laughs> Let's just keep it simple and it's gonna be a lot happier, more balanced, less irritation, less inflammation, less breakouts. And so in some of their products, like I believe the, the moisturizer, that's why it's saying prebiotic skincare on there, it is formulated with their pack patented microbiome ingredient. It's actually called Aqua Pose. So they have patented that ingredient specifically because they grow that microbiome in the thermal spring waters. Another thing that La roche Pose is known for is treating specific skin conditions. So I've seen a lot of articles and reviews saying that this brand is great for using on psoriasis, on rosacea, on uh, acne even. Now, is it going to necessarily cure any of those things? Of course not. Um, it is going to help to soothe and to mediate any symptoms that you may be experiencing. And I do have a lot of clients that come in here that experience these skin conditions. And so I was actually very pleasantly surprised to learn that La roche Posay offers tons of different products to help specifically target these different skin conditions. And that is actually in history what 
people would go to these thermal spring water centers for was for these skin conditions that they were dealing with. And so um, I actually have already texted a client of mine about a couple of their products for eczema. And, you know, I'm excited to see if maybe that helps improve her skin. That really is my uh, synopsis of what the background of this company is, what the science and uh, formulation. Now, do they have any specific way they formulate it or whatever? I didn't really read anything necessarily about the facilities or how it's created, so I can't really speak on that knowing, okay, are they doing it in a sustainable facility? But I do know that their products are paraben-free, fragrance-free, hypoallergenic, and non-commodogenic. It's formulated really specifically for those who have sensitive skin types. Now, I have seen in some reviews that there's some debate about whether some of their products have fragrance. There's always a chance for something to irritate your skin, but just because a company claims there's no fragrance or anything like that, it is important to do your own research and make sure that um, that, that is factual. Anyways, it's enough about the history of the company. Let's dive into my most favorite products that I use throughout testing these out. Okay, let's talk first about cleansers. I laid out all the cleansers in front of me. I'm just going to share with you really quickly which ones that I tried and then let you know which one was my favorite. So the first cleanser that I tried out was the Tolerine, sorry if I butcher how to pronounce these, but the Tolerine Purifying Foaming Cleanser for normal to oily skin. I have the Lipicar AP Plus Wash, Gentle Foaming Moisturizing Wash for dry to extra dry skin for the body and face. And then I also have the Lipicar AP Plus Gentle Foaming Cleansing Oil for dry to extra dry skin for the body and face. And I also have the Effaclair Medicated Gel Cleanser with 2% salicylic acid and it's supposed to target excess oil production. I have to say, I think just off initial first impressions was the gentle foaming cleansing oil. I just felt like instantly when I put it on my skin and I was massaging it in and then I rinsed it off, it just left this really baby smooth feel to it. And it was just an enjoyable cleanser. And I also, um, first I removed my makeup with micellar water prior to cleansing uh, whenever I use these products. Um, but I do feel like when I use this cleanser uh, over this cleanser that my makeup really removed a lot better and I think because this is an, technically an oil cleanser um, it's going to lift off that makeup even better. So let's talk a little bit more about this cleanser in particular. This cleanser actually right off the bat says that it was approved and accepted by the National Eczema Association. It even says it's suitable for babies as young as two weeks old, including the baby scalp. Oh my gosh, that would have been such a good thing to have. When my, I remember when my son had his scalp thing going on when he was a baby, it was nasty. So to be able to use something like this on a newborn is, is pretty cool. And I know a lot of their products that some of them are definitely safe for infants. So check those out. Recommended for dry to extra dry skin or sensitive skin. It also says it's suitable for patients undergoing chemotherapy. So, and I, I do believe that this is a very gentle cleanser. So let's talk about key ingredients. So of course, and I'm not gonna keep saying it for every single darn product, but you know that they have that thermal spring water in every single one of their products. So of course that's in there. It's also formulated with shea butter, which is uh, helpful to restore the skin's barrier, also to help the skin feel soothed. And it also is formulated with niacinamide, which is known to help restore, again, the skin's barrier and target discoloration in the skin. And then the final key ingredient is glycerin. So we know that glycerin is a humectant that's going to soothe and hydrate the skin. Overall, that this is just the one that I enjoyed the most, so check it out if you'd like to. And also, look how freaking big these bottles are. Like, they're gonna last you so long. How many fluid ounces is this? This is 400 milliliters, so 13.52 fluid ounces. I think this cleanser costs $16.99. So affordable and again, a great product. Let's talk about face moisturizers. Face moisturizers that they gave to me, double repair face moisturizer that I'm giving away at the end of this video. Also the matte version of this formula. They also of course gifted me a handful of sunscreens, but we will be talking about those next. This one 
I love. I noticed instantly when I put it on my skin that it was light. I wear makeup and I, I do consider myself a combination oily skin type. And I swear to you, every single day after I work, my T-zone is shiny. I mean, of course, if the weather is a bit warmer, even more shiny. And we are gonna be getting into the winter season, so maybe this isn't something I would use during the winter but definitely during the summer and the spring when it gets a bit warmer here. I, I just always noticed that my makeup would just start to kind of like just move around and it would get really shiny and have to like wipe it. And um, when I use this, I mean, it just would not get as oily as it had been for so long. I just feel like there's just this nice matte look to my face and um, I bet, but still like some brightness to it and it's not, you know, it's not cracky or any, it's not hard feeling. Um, and of course I would top it off with their thermal spring water spray. Let's talk about this moisturizer a little bit more specifically. Price point. It is $22.99, 2.5 fluid ounces, which I feel like is pretty reasonable. So it's of course recommended for oily, shiny skin, target the appearance of pores, uneven skin texture, wrinkles, fine lines, and good for sensitive skin. Okay, let's talk about key ingredients. So they have ceramides in them, which ceramides are known to support the skin barrier, of course. Niacinamide, we talked about that previously, but again, good for brightening, for soothing, for targeting discoloration in the skin. Also has perlite, which is a powder derived from volcanic rock, and it is able to absorb water or oil and is known to provide a matte finish on the skin. And silica, it's also a type of powder with a spherical bead shape that provides a silky feel and soft focus effect. It is lightweight and is able to absorb a significant amount of oil from the skin. I'm a believer, y'all. It also has glycerin, which we again talked about before and its benefits. High on the ingredient list is their thermal water, is glycerin, silica, niacinamide. So that means usually when the ingredient is higher on the list or first on the list, that is the majority of the formulation of the product. That's my favorite moisturizer. So let's get into the next, oh man, I have to pick one more. Usually I do top three, but bear with me. I'm gonna try to see how I'm gonna do these uh, skincare reviews for you guys if I'm just gonna like pick my favorite out of each category or I don't know what do you guys think now I didn't get to try a lot of their serums so if you guys have any experience with their serums go ahead and comment below let me know what serums you enjoyed I know that they have a niacinamide serum a vitamin C serum they did gift me the retinol serum and the glycolic serum but I truly don't think I could give you a a full review of that just yet because I haven't used them long enough to know if they really truly are benefiting my skin but those were actually the more pricier items those were the ones that I looked at at the drugstore when I went and those were the priciest items which I'm not mad at because I do feel like serums are gonna be what's gonna target your concerns more and it's more potent. Is it a bit higher than most drugstore prices for skincare items? Like, yes, but that's why I said La Roche-Posay is bougie on a budget. Definitely cheaper than some other brands and their products, um, but it can be a little bit of a stretch for somebody who is trying to watch their wallet. But I would like to hear you guys' experience more with the serum specifically, and I know I have heard other reviews regarding these serums, so do your research and let me know in the comments below. Actually, I'm gonna talk to you guys about this, oops, this kit that I got. It's the three-step acne routine with the Epiclair Duo recommended by dermatologists, and it says that it is a two-month supply. They did say on here that it helps reduce up to 60% of acne in just 10 days with visible results starting day one. That is the claim that I wanted to test out with this kit is that, okay, day one, am I gonna notice anything different? This came with three different products and it was $33.99, which I believe was really reasonable for a two month supply of acne targeting products. Can you get this kit and only use this kit? for your routine, no, of course, you're gonna have to buy some other products to support this kit. So it came with the medicated gel cleanser that I mentioned to you before that has salicylic acid and microexfoliating LHA. Now, LHA is a uh, derivative of salicylic acid and is known to be a bit more gentle on the skin. I only used it a couple times. Didn't love it, didn't hate it. I've used better products. The other 
products that came with it is the clarifying solution, which is uh, has a 0.5 salicylic acid and a 2% glycolic acid. And it is what I would say comparable to the Polish Choice BHA Exfoliator or the Image Clear Cell Tonic, which I love both of those products. And so I wanted to try something similar just to compare it to. And so 0.5 salicylic acid, that's pretty darn light. The other products that I use are 2%. It does have a 2% glycolic acid. So maybe that's kind of what's like kind of making up for it in a sense. And they also included a dual action acne treatment, like a spot treatment. It has a 5.5 benzyl peroxide in there and LHA in there. This is what you would use to spot treat on those more inflamed pimples. And I'm not sure which maybe product it was specifically, but I want to say it was the spot treatment um, because it does have that benzyl peroxide in there, which is known specifically to target those P. acne bacteria. I did notice um, night one that the next day when I woke up and I took off my little pimple patch, I will say that when I took off the pimple patch in the morning after using this product, I did notice that there was less irritation, less inflammation. It didn't look as big and nasty as it had the night before. Seeing a result in one day was factual for me. So let's talk a little bit more specifically about the spot treatment and see if there's any other ingredients in there that are worth mentioning. 20 milliliter is $22.99. So how could that kit be priced at $33.99? That just doesn't make sense to me. This product, we mentioned the benzoyl peroxide. We mentioned the LHA, glycerin, which again, we know what that does. Silica, which was in the mattifying moisturizer. So it's gonna help absorb that oil from the skin. It does have alcohol as, as one of the first ingredients, it's water and then it's alcohol. Some of you guys who maybe have a little more sensitivity, do a little patch test of it or something before putting it on your skin. Typically salicylic acid and products like this can create a little bit of like a tingle on the skin. I don't, I don't remember there being a tingle with this product. I do remember there, there being a slight tingle with the clarifying solution. So I don't feel like it created any sensitivity on my skin or reaction or irritation. That's my thought on that acne system. I know they have a ton of other products that claim to target acne. And so make sure you're again, doing your research about what ingredients specifically are targeting the acne. I do believe these products specifically target breakouts, but I have heard in other reviews about them making claims that, oh, this is good for acne. And then in fact, it wasn't necessarily doing that. Okay, let's finish out this video. It's getting a little bit long and let's talk about my favorite sunscreen. They gifted me the tinted mineral sunscreen, 50 SPF. Also, they gifted me the 60 SPF of the light fluid sunscreen ultra light and then also the 60 SPF broad spectrum water lotion sunscreen. Um, and it's water resistant for 80 minutes and it has this cooling effect. And I know that La Roche-Posay has a ton of sunscreen. So I know I've seen videos out there that specifically go through sunscreens, check them out. But I feel like my first impression, the tinted mineral sunscreen was my favorite. And I'm gonna kind of dive in a little bit, I guess, into my least favorites were the sunscreens, okay? I think I enjoyed the other products a lot more than the sunscreens. And that's surprising because my mom even like raves about the La Roche-Posay sunscreen. But I just feel like I've used better sunscreens. I don't know, just initial impressions, the look and the feel. I know that there's videos that dive deeper into the ingredients of these products. And so sometimes there's questions about like the ingredients that they're using in their sunscreens and whether it's it's, it's um, safe or not or good for sensitive skin. But I'm just speaking purely from my experience using the product. Both um, the tinted and the regular ones, um, these lightweight, ultra light sunscreens are very liquidy. At first I was kind of concerned when I put it on my hand and it was that runny. I was like, ooh, is it gonna be like greasy? But honestly, when I rubbed it into the skin, it was pretty nice. The reason why I think I enjoy the tinted one more than this one is because when I put the regular one on, I didn't feel like it really spread very well. I had to put more product than I did the tinted one, which I'm not really sure why. This product, I actually kind of expected it to be a bit more lightweight, given that it's calling itself water lotion sunscreen. And it 
transforms into a water-like lotion, lightweight, refreshing, cooling. I didn't get that experience. I do feel like it was a bit thicker than these ones. So I think this actually could be a great body sunscreen, but for my face, mm, yeah, no. Anyways, let's talk a little bit more about my favorite one. Price point of this product is $37.99 and it actually has a skin cancer foundation sticker on the website. This lightweight 100% mineral tinted face sunscreen with titanium dioxide was developed for sensitive skin. The fast absorbing texture leaves a tinted matte finish on the skin for a healthy glow, which I do agree with. It did definitely give it a glow, but not too much greasiness. The only thing I didn't really truly enjoy was the actual tint itself. It was a very sheer coverage in my opinion. Maybe you could build it up a little bit more, but I don't really like putting layers and layers and layers of, of sunscreen. I'm just gonna wear a foundation at that point. But I do feel like I have used better tinted sunscreens, but I had to choose a favorite and that was my favorite one out of these three. And it's formulated with Cell Ox Shield technology, broad spectrum UVA, UVB protection with antioxidants. Looks like it's kind of a specific ingredient that they may have developed um, that does this. And it has vitamin E, which we know is uh, moisturizing, protects against uh, free radicals, titanium dioxide, which is a mineral sunscreen. For those of you who don't know, the difference between mineral sunscreen and chemical sunscreen is that mineral sunscreen actually reflects the rays off of the skin and chemical absorbs it so but it still it protects you but it's absorbing the rays still so some people in theory think that mineral is better because it's reflecting the rays off of the skin versus still absorbing it and changing the uh, negative effects on the skin. To be honest, I haven't really been nitpicky like that, but I do find mineral sunscreens tend to be a bit heavier, to be a bit more of a white, have a bit more of a white cast. For a mineral sunscreen, a pretty good option as far as its blendability and benefits for the skin and how it looked and felt on the skin. Dimethicone, which is a silicone-based polymer used as a skin protectant to help reduce water loss. Of course, it has the spring water, silica, which we know absorbs that excess oil, and iron oxide. So that is what provides that tint in the sunscreen and it may also help provide protection against visible light. So yeah, I mean, of course I would hope that, you know, more brands can come out with more shade ranges because sunscreen is just one of those really tricky formulas and it's hard to nail and get right. I'm sure it is in the works to get more shade ranges at some point, but I would say if you're concerned <laughs> about um, a white cast, I think having like maybe a clear sunscreen in your cabinet is gonna be beneficial. I don't know if La Roche-Posay has a clear sunscreen. Hopefully maybe La Roche-Posay has a clear sunscreen or they can develop a clear sunscreen because I think um, some of these sunscreens that I've seen reviews for, there have been complaints of that white cast or the blendability not being the best. If you guys can develop some sort of clear product, that would be probably the best option to be a bit more inclusive for all skin tones. All right, y'all, I have talked your guys' ears off about La Roche-Posay and I am happy with the products that I was able to try. I wish I could try more and I will probably continue to try more. If there's specific products you want me to try or that you are loving um, that I should try on my channel from La Roche-Posay, go ahead and holler below. And maybe La Roche-Posay, you will gift me those products that I can try and give my honest review about. I didn't even give you guys like my full thoughts <laughs> about the company or if it's approved or whatever. Um, is it approved? I honestly would say yes, I approve La Roche-Posay. Again, acknowledging that it is a drugstore brand, I'm not saying it's the best of the best, but as a drugstore brand, I do feel like they have the science to back up their claims. They have um, a, a lot of research behind their products and also to the uniqueness of that thermal spring water. And just my experience with most of these products were very positive. I, I had a hard time thinking about which one was going to be my least favorite. The majority of my experience was very positive uh, off initial impressions. Thank you again La Roche-Posay 
those are my final thoughts let's wrap up this video and get into this giveaway thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video i hope it was detailed and educational for you and saves you your money so that you don't have to go and try all these products yourself and i've given you you know my honest feedback about the experience i had with these products and now without further ado let's get into the giveaway so if you want to enter for this giveaway like this video hit that subscribe button and comment below really anything just any comment on this video you are going to be entered into the giveaway okay if you comment on this video it's fair game for you and if you want an extra entry into the giveaway please take a boomerang or a little clip of this video and post it on your Instagram story and tag me, Kristen Marie Co underscore. As I know I get a lot of tags and messages, I will do my very best to make sure I catch your, uh, your repost. I will be sure to announce who wins this giveaway probably in my next video, so be sure to stay tuned for that. And thank you again so much for watching. As always, I'll see you guys back here next week for a new one. And until then, I love you, stay safe, and I'll see you then. Bye.